Welcome to your weekend of weather outlook. The heat is building, the humidity is rising for many places, but not for everyone this weekend. We are going to start pretty warm, a sticky night Friday night into Saturday morning. This is how we start the weekend with temperatures widely in the high teens in urban areas. Then fast forward to Saturday afternoon. The top temperatures are going to be across the Midlands and eastern England, where we'll see those highs in the high 20s. One or two spots likely to top out at 30 Celsius. It's going to be very warm and humid, even where temperatures aren't as high further south and west, but not as hot further north because we have a weather front here, in fact, a cold front, which will keep things fresher across the far north of Scotland. That weather front is providing quite a bit of rain during the course of Friday. will continue to track its way southwards into the weekend before kind of grinding to a halt. High pressure is dominating in the south, low pressure to the north. Quite a few isobars on the chart, so it will be quite breezy. And this weather front will be providing cloud and rain. Quite a, a damp start to the weekend for Northern Ireland, central and southern parts of Scotland. Now, as that weather front sinks south, hitting the high pressure, it will continue to fizzle out, but provide some rain and drizzle trickling across uh, parts of Cumbria and edging further south through the day. But at the same time as it edges south, it does fizzle out. So Northern Ireland turns largely dry. Central belt of Scotland also brightening up here. Sunny spells across northern Scotland. Quite a, a gusty wind. Quite breezy further south. It will be quite cloudy too, especially for South Wales, South West England. Might see the odd shower here and there also. But for much of East Wales, the Midlands, most of Eastern England, We'll see some good spells of sunshine coming through, and as we saw earlier, that's where we'll see the top temperatures. Another pretty warm and sticky night to come on Saturday night. Again, across the south, temperatures in many urban locations staying in the high teens. That weather front is still there, but fizzling out. The high pressure is still dominating across the south. This uh, weather front kind of linked to another one out west, and that one will pep the rain up a little bit later on on Sunday. Again, likely to be a dull, damp start under that weather front for parts of southern Scotland and the far north of England. Nothing too heavy, but damp and drizzly nonetheless. And then as that next weather front pushes in, we could see the rain returning to parts of Northern Ireland and western Scotland later on. So it's going to be far from hot and sunny across uh, the northwestern corner of the UK. Further south, again, quite a bit of cloud around, quite murky to start with, a little bit of drizzle around coast and hills, but mostly dry. And uh, certainly, again, across the southeast, eastern England, we should see plenty of sunshine. And that is, again, where we'll see those top temperatures getting more widely up into the high 20s and perhaps one or two places, 30, maybe even 31 Celsius. A bit warmer further west, again, especially if we do see some sunshine and that warm and humid feel across the south continues, whereas it will be a little fresher further north across Scotland. I know this is the weekend forecast, but a quick peek at Monday's temperature, which is likely to be the peak in the temperatures uh, where we see the highs more widely over 30 Celsius, perhaps 32, 33, maybe even 34, somewhere across the uh, southeast. It uh, is warming up for many places further north and west as well, with perhaps a bit more sunshine by Monday. But back to the weekends, the main focus, those high temperatures for many, but not all. Where the sun is out, UV levels are going to be high as well. You will need the sunscreen on. And so also for hay fever sufferers, those grass pollen levels are likely to be high. More on all of that, of course, across our website. You can find out much more uh, advice about how to be prepared for summer weather if you search for weather ready on the Met Office website. And for more details of the forecast through the weekend, follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel.